Our senior reporter Rob Dorset spoke to the former heavyweight world champion from Ukraine, Vladimir Klitschko. Very challenging time in the life of Ukrainians. I never was thinking that I'm going to face the war personally. And I was thinking that the country is going to face the war that was started by our neighbor, Russia. And uh, have you seen the fighting? Have you been involved in any of the fighting yet? Um, no, I, I'm in the city and obviously you, you see and you hear the explosions the rockets, um, you see destroyed vehicles, buildings. Um, it's, it's, it's absolutely terrifying what actually the war can do. I'm not going to go through all the images, but it's, it's absolutely terrifying. How are the Ukrainian people holding up? How, how are the people around you in Kiev? I am proud of Ukrainian nation. Everyone stands for each other. I am actually never been as proud as Ukrainian as now. And I'm and I'm just I'm just proud of our people, men and women. Vladimir, the, the international community has responded with sanctions, we know that, and 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 attempts economically to, to hurt Vladimir Putin. Is that enough as far as you're concerned? It's never enough. It's never enough until the war is going to be stopped. It's never enough. I repeat it one more time. It's never enough. What should every they do? Second, every minute, every hour counts. Everything. Just on many, on many different fronts, you know, from sanctions, I'm actually proud of, and I know I'm talking to a sporting community, and this unity, the world's unity, the IOC, boxing federations, the UEFA, FIFA, Formula One, and so on, ban Russian teams from the games, from participation. I have nothing against the endless, but they're representing as well the regime that is happening right now and actually in some way in the connection with this war. And that's why any, any suspension just to stop this aggression, this senseless killing of innocent people, innocent Ukrainians were probably one of the most peaceful nations in this world. We haven't started war ever with anybody, but come to our home and kill our men, women, and children. This is not, this is not a human, possibly any human can do. And they said senseless. And that's why there is never enough. We need, we need supplies. We need food. We need medicine, first aid medicine. We need any support, financial support, anything. So as I said, we can count endlessly of uh, any support that possibly could be because we're alone in this case. And we do stand for each other and with each other. And, um, and as I said, it's, it's just unimaginable as we were hosting Champions League finals here in, in the city recently, or European Soccer Cup with Paul in this case recently, it's just unimaginable what is actually happening in this country, in this beautiful country and city, and its beautiful people. So to stop in any way this Russian aggression is crucially important to do now. Because, as I said, we, we don't have time to hesitate and make decisions on the board meeting when the sanctions are going to be kicked in. We don't have this time.